Happy New Year, everyone. So we have a couple of announcements. Um, first of all, I bet you've noticed that the tree looks a little different today. Yeah. Something's still there? Yeah. Something is still there. Oh, okay. So, um, and I wanted to report on that, that I mean, it was in the newsletter, that we had 115 pairs of socks, but there was one that we missed, so there's 116 pairs of socks. 52 hats, nine scarves, 19 mittens, gloves, kinds of things, um, two coats, and a blanket, which were taken to the um, Grace Welcome Center and the Outreach Center on Tuesday. So thank you everyone. That one last lone pair of socks will get there, just not today. <laughs> okay. So then, Ed has an announcement. Well, I'm not uh, the only fat guy that works one day a year. And, uh, so, when uh, Aaron wasn't here last week, he couldn't deliver her present, so I found it in the bottom of our stove. So, we figured we, we must have a new pickup truck, so. <laughs> So I hope we got a pickup truck for Christmas to hang me on. <laughs> so time for uh, cleaning out the basement and uh, hanging up some blood flags. Maybe some don't know. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, so then I guess we should tell everybody else what's going on since that's kind of an inside joke. Aaron and Ron are retiring which is very nice for them um, in the middle of January somewhere here. And the other really cool news is that their son Trey and his wife, Kira, right? Am I saying her name right? Kira. Kira built them a house. Isn't that just the most amazing thing you've ever heard? Bad news is it's in Montana. <laughs> But we thought we would make sure that there was, you know, some celebration about this really big life changing kind of event. So everybody needs to wish Aaron Happy New Year and congratulations so that, um, you know, we can wish them well. All right, and Aaron, I'll bring this on back to you later, all right? Um, another announcement. No, I do remember. Um, we need to keep the Richter family in our prayers because on Friday evening, Marge Richter passed away. Okay, so please include them in your prayers. I'll make sure it gets in to the prayers for the following week, but there was no way to do it for this week. Please, please keep them in mind. Um, I believe we do not yet know um, what the service arrangements are going to be. So maybe, maybe we'll go by Tuesday and be able to get that information out. Otherwise, you're just going to have to Google it if you're interested. Okay. Are there any other announcements for the good of the congregation? All right, I've got one more. Any able-bodied person before you leave today, could you please help us take down the pew lights? Thank you. We begin our service with a call to worship. Jesus, the bright morning star, shines lights in the world. By day and night, he shines for all to see. Jesus was born in the midst of injustice and poverty. That the world may see the justice and richness of God. God so loved the world that God sent Jesus. So that all who believe in him may not perish, but have eternal life. 
Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of our lives. Sing to God a new song. A song of hope, joy, and peace around the world. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray together. Almighty God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature, and yet more wonderfully restored it, in a mercy that I share the divine life of the one who came to share our human. Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Our first carol is the way you make it.
The second lesson is a reading from the Gospel of Luke, the first chapter. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to the town of Galilee, Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin, engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, David, man. The Lord is with you. She was very much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no, will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let, me, let it be with me according to your word. And the angel departed from Third carol, what child is this? Number 296. <laughs> Which means God is with us. 
When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but he had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son, he believed in Jesus. A fourth carol is Good, friend, good Christian Friends Rejoice, 288, 288.
fifth reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, the second chapter. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and asked him, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at his rising, and we've come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. Told them in Bethlehem of Judea. For so it had been written by the prophets, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of, of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is a shepherd to, to my people Israel. Then here secretly called the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go, and search diligently for the child. And when they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them, oh, I'm sorry, and he sent them to Bethlehem, Go, search diligently for When you found him, bring me word that I may go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. And when they saw the, saw the child with Mary and his mother, they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. We pray together the prayer of the Lord to us. Our Father, where art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Praise God, from whom all blessings flow. Praise God, all creatures here below. You are the shepherds telling the story. We tell it in the streets and across the land. You are the wise ones worshiping with thanksgiving. We worship with gifts of song and service, talents and treasures. You are the angels announcing peace. We live with joy and hope not with peace. May Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Our sending song, Go Tell It on Mother, number 290. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. 